Hello, I am Tom Thompson, Fire Chief for Drayton Valley, Brazos County Fire Services. In the past little while, our fire department has been putting out a series of videos to prepare our public and our community in case of an emergency. To, the last time I was talking to you, I talked about the things to pack for an emergency evacuation. However, sometimes you don't have time to pack all of those items and sometimes you need to have prepared a 72-hour emergency preparedness kit. The 72-hour kit holds supplies to support you and your family for three days in an emergency situation. The kits should include water. You will need approximately two liters of water per person for drinking and an additional one to two liters for washing and cooking per day. In terms of food, it is important to choose foods that you will eat and food that is non-perishable. Canned meats, fruits, vegetables, dried fruit, nuts, granola bars are all good choices. You can also use freeze-dried food as well, but make sure you try them first prior to using them in your emergency pack. You should also make sure that you have baby food for infants and speci special dietary food for family members who have allergies. In terms of shelter, it is a good idea to pack a tent or some form of shelter such as a plastic tarp. A sleeping bag is always a good choice to take with you or an emergency blanket like the one that I have here. Other items include a flashlight and extra batteries or a flashlight that you can crank. You might also want to pack some duct tape and plastic sheeting or a rain poncho. Dust masks and a first aid kit are also good items to pack in your preparedness kit and some candles and some waterproof matches. Another important part of the kit are, is tools. A multi-function army knife is a very valuable tool as well as some utility cord approximately 50 feet and a whistle and a pair of pliers. All of these are good tools to pack in your preparedness kit. You also will want to include aqua tablets which are purification tablets to uh, purify water if you need as well as moist towelettes, tissue, or toilet paper. You probably also want to pack a good pair of leather gloves should you need to do any work to get yourselves out of, out of a tough situation. Last but not least, it is also a good idea to have a radio so you can listen to updates. This radio here is a crank radio which means it doesn't require any power to operate it. You can also have a phone, but make sure you pack a charger. Unfortunately, if there is no power, you might not be able to use your phone for very long. Having a crank radio still allows you the opportunity to listen in for emergency briefings and updates. You can make this pack yourself, but make sure it the items that you pack can be easily transported, um, such as in a backpack like this. You also can purchase packs online. There are many different websites and many different locations where you can purchase these. An example is a website called 72hours.ca. They have a wide variety of different packs there that you can purchase. Just make sure that they have everything that I have listed today. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.